while we were in Panama on outreach, we had really amazing experiences in the times of evangelism and the way we actually did evangelism I had never done it that way before we were doing what we call treasure hunt evangelism and the way we did it is that we would sit down together as a small group and actually pray and wait on the Holy Spirit for him to give us some sort of idea or impression or something symbol or a picture of something and that would be like some inclination or give us some some idea of what he wanted us to do so we were in a small group that day and it was one of us from St. Lucia, um, from the US, from Germany and yeah it was a small group of us and then we got the impression that day that God wanted us to go to a music store. So one of us got that impression and nobody else got anything else so we said okay we'll go with that. So we went walking and we felt that it was close by, that's another thing that we really felt. So we went walking to the first music store and when we got in there, it, um, we heard Christian music playing and we just, you know, started to play with the instruments because that was allowed and the owners of the store started talking to us and we were just looking at each other trying to get a vibe of what, you know, we were feeling and we realized that, um, no, it didn't seem to be the place. So we came out, you know, wondering, okay, God, you said music store, what's happening now? And then right next door, we thought it was actually one store, but there were two stores with separate owners. And when we went into the next one, we did the same thing again, went in there and we were just quietly praying and asking God to lead us. And then we ended up speaking to the, to the man who was there, who happened to be the owner. So one of the guys picks up a conversation about the guitar he was, he was trying out. And then I, I felt like I should ask him if he had a daughter. So then he said, yeah, he has two daughters. And it started to flow from there one after the other we just felt like we have things that we feel we need to tell this man and he started to get so emotional while we were talking to him and he just um, he just stood there you know receiving everything that God was putting on our heart because we felt to tell him that you know God knows the love that he has for these daughters and the same way that he feels towards his daughters and he was sharing with us about the daughters more and we just felt to tell him you know the same way he feels about his daughters that's how God feels about him and he got so emotional, it, it looked like he even wanted to start crying. And this man was in his music store and three strangers just walked up to him. It was about four of us walked up to him, telling him that God just laid him on our heart and directed us to his music store to encourage him. And while we were speaking with him, he, he got so, he was just so thrilled that God had him on his mind. And we were even more thrilled that God just demonstrated his love towards this man so much that he would actually let us know that he has a son in a music store waiting to get a word of encouragement. And I think that day it just reminded us, you know, like the different experiences we had on outreach that, you know, God really has us at heart. And we, we turned back in time to see this man hugging his co-worker and just feeling so overwhelmed by the love of God that he experienced that day. So these are the kind of experiences that we had on outreach, just, you know, demonstrating the, the practical and that kind of tangible love, you know, that God has for us as his children. And every opportunity we get to do it, you know, in outreaches and in the DTS, I mean, it's so worth it. And so we're so thankful to God, for, you know, for using us and just showing us how much he loves us.